Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4 and we are finally continuing with our story. So we're going to visit Virgil and then we'll follow the breadcrumbs and see where that leads us. Hopefully it won't be tedious but I don't know. So without further ado let's uh, let's follow the breadcrumbs. Before we set off I'm going to get some rad X going. And we'll fast travel to the glowing sea. We won't stay there too long. Hopefully. Aviation should be avoided at all costs. It could damage you irreparably. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. We are here in Virgil's lab. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. You suddenly look so much taller. Um, I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a Corsair. How'd you manage to get it decoded? Yeah, let's the just tell the truth. Oh God, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting <laughs> computer terminals free or... Sorry. Yeah. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. <laughs> Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the but... data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. No worry. Uh, I'm not going to ask you about bioscience. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. Um, I honestly want to say that, but I, let's just say we got it covered. I've got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Wow, okay, so we can talk to basically anyone. Minutemen, Brotherhood, um, and uh, Railroad, which we will not be talking to. Those guys, those guys are chumps. Alright, um, hmm. So what do we do, guys? Uh, would have been nice if I could have put this out to... Oh, vault Tech Lunchbox. It's not stowable. Uh, you can keep the knife that that came with. Okay, so, like I was saying, it would have been nice to have um, put this on YouTube, kind of gotten a vote on it or something, you know. But uh, I think since we've got the Minutemen at our disposal, at disposable, since we got the Minutemen at our disposal, we will we will go ahead and um, use that. We are General Kayla, after all, or she is, or I am, or you know. Ooh, let's get out of here. All right, let's go up to Sanctuary. All right, so we're at Sanctuary. Let me take some of that um, just to purge that little bit of right away. Now, who do I talk to? Okay. 
Okay, we've got Preston Garvey here, so I guess we'll talk to this guy. Can what are you doing? What do you need, General? It's like I can finally think straight. Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? My baby. They kidnapped my baby. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? Should we just blow his mind? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. Hmm. Most people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. But Sturgis reminds me of Deacon, so... I don't Preston know. thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. And Deacon, that's that guy's from the the railroad. If you guys have for, 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 if you sure guys have for, Let's see what forgotten, you got. do you think you can build this? Wow, what a mess! Oh, looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? Can I got this from it? someone who should know what he's talking about. Can you build it or not? Well, yeah. I think so. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah. I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, It'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Okay. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. What does that mean? You could build like a bajillion generators. You could probably put it here. And then, and then we'll be set. Or you could put it on top of that tower tower it's more like a it's a four-story building all right build the reflector platform all right where where did I build it 18 14 here is that under special oh wow okay that's not that big. Let's put it somewhere impressive. Like this tree. Well, let's put it on this little curvy thingy. Line it up. Do I really want to build another one? Okay. I hope one is enough. We're working here, people. Stop sleeping. Hey, Sturgis. Oh, come on. You know, these guys have much better beds in that building up there, but I guess they How's don't trust it. To... Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it. Here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Okay, build the console. Relay dish, beam emitter. 
Um. I'd better get started. Okay. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. I hope this is, doesn't turn out to be some tedious MMO inspired quest. Go here, go there. Kill this, kill that. Steal something. But anyways, what do you want me to do? Okay. Alright. Cool beans. Do we need to make this fancy schmancy? Nah. Need a console. What the heck is this? Molecular beam re Build that. Relay dish. I'll put you out there. Then 522. Power this bad boy up. I'm so glad we don't have to run around for this crap. Let's put that here and here. Let's attach this bad boy. Hello. That's a one. That's a two. That is some sci fi <laughs> looking. Whoa. Sweet. Okay, so I'll just pop this here. Pop this here. Will that work? Oh. I think that mirror to save. Okay, Sturgis. let's get this started. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Should we test first? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. <sighs> All right, I've got a bunch of ammo. Not, Not ready, ready yet. Yeah, that's cool. I'll keep tuning this baby. Although we won't know if it's going to work until we actually try it. I'm scared, guys. So, what do I do? I'm going to run into some power armor. Alright, so we've got power armor for Tuesday, and then... Um, there's Rocket Wednesday over more. here. Humans this is our more. Friday armor. Party armor. I guess since it's New Year's, it's almost like a Friday. Let's see, we've got... Monday here, and <laughs> now nah, I'm just dragging this out because I I don't know, I don't know. Let's just let's okay. Let me check to see if it's uh, all repaired. Okay, everything is repaired. So let me back out of here. All right, the sucker's loaded up, so let's go in. Bring along our security blanket. I heard there's a, a pink, like a hot... Whoa, why is everyone red? Oh, that's so cool. One of my, my upgrades I had added to the helmet, I think, um, highlights live... Exactly. That's why I don't want to join the Brotherhood. Okay. So I had an upgrade to my my Power Armor's helmet that highlights live targets. I thought it was just humans and monsters, but apparently it's robots and uh, turds as well. All right. So save again. All right. Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. Ready. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. 
Spoiler alert. I <laughs> disintegrate into a million pieces. I don't blame you. And game over. So anyways, okay. it... hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh... uh just there for decoration. Sure. Okay. Anaconda. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. <laughs> Jurassic Park reference. Holy crap. I am alive. And I leveled up. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to look at it. View access log. Error signal rerouted. Aha. Let me just delete that. Okay. Ooh. That's what I'm supposed to do. Bahahaha. <laughs> Sturgis, you are too smart to be in a wasteland. Should we sneak around? Curry! Curry! Damn it. What's the point of getting Curry in the previous episode if I can't use her? Alright, let's loot. Duct tape. That's Institute duct tape um, and turpentine. I probably should have gotten a toothpaste too, because you never know. Probably fresher than what we we've got. Addictol. Addict all. Shoot. I wonder what did if I feel? you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Who is this? I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Sounds ominous. Enter the elevator. What kind of freaking elevator is that? Folder. Clean room suit, I'll take that. Accessible. Okay. Dude, this guy's. I, I don't know if I should say it because I have a feeling it's. I can it's only true. imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Oh, Welcome to the lighting. Institute. It's so high tech, man. This is the reality of the Institute. This place. These people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Oh my goodness. I can see this from a mile away. Ah, oh, that's the problem with me. 
I watch TV shows and I watch movies and I'm like, yeah, this is probably what happened. And then guess what happens? Shoot. So earlier in the series, I predicted that actually uh, we had come out a couple years later after the events of, uh, well, Sean's kidnapping and um, he actually grown older. So I have a feeling, I, I theorize that he was actually like some old guy who's in charge of one of the factions, maybe like Brotherhood of Steel is what I was theorizing. And keep in mind, this was this was just me theorizing. I hadn't actually watched anything. Um, but I have a feeling with the setup and everything, even Kellogg's memories, this guy, Father, is shot. Oh my goodness. Is that going to be it? I mean, I'll be glad if I was if I was wrong, but, dude. All right, let's see if he fesses up. Um, yep. This is what you look like when you're using a squatty potty. No cool way to use a squatty potty. But anyways, oh my goodness. Or maybe not. Is that Sean? For all we know, it could be some freaking. Synth. Not not that I'm against synth or, synths or anything like that. That does look like Sean, so... Tweezers. Spanner. Applicator. Ear examiner. These are some cool stuff that you don't find in the Commonwealth. Probably, be, probably because people uh, keep on uh, breaking stuff. Let's see. No use. <laughs> no use. Yeah, this kid looks like that Sean from from Kellogg's uh, memories. Red hair, different than this the standard um, vanilla whatever. Because I changed my character's hair and face and all that stuff. Um, I don't know, guys. I I thought I thought this father guy would be uh, Sean, but like I said, it's, this place is filled with humanoid robots and don't have the key wait a second where am i supposed to go jammed all right maybe i'll stand up and oh sean oh my goodness okay maybe my theory was wrong or maybe not sean huh yes i'm sean sean Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? <laughs> um... Where is everyone? What does that mean? Sean. Where is everyone? Father! What's going on? What's happening? Sean. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, honey? What do you want me to do? I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Calm down. Sean, please. Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father. Father, help me. She's trying to take me. Father. Father, help me. All right. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Oh, my. But disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only Freaking... just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional. I am emotional. Your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's okay, start that. anew. I am Father. Welcome to the I am Institute. tempted to shoot you in the face. Or in the leg. Just in case you're shot. I can always help you get a new leg. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you are a parent to your son. 
to Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. Oh my goodness. I am Sean. I am your son. What? Oh man, this is why I can't watch movies and, and TV series and stuff like that. If they're, I'm like, it is. It's really you. After all this time. Yes. It's true. But you don't In have red vault, hair. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And well, not here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Uh. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111, an infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Wait a second. Then, then why did the sense keep on shooting at me? I mean, Nick Valentine's an exception. And that other chick with the minigun at the railroad was another exception. And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. 
The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Nothing, honestly, but let's talk some more. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Technically, neither yes. did you. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But... Director? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. What do you mean? I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know. What does this mean, dismissive? How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Uh, probably should stop killing people and replacing them with synths for one thing. I've seen it happen, so... Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. I don't know, guys. It is Sean. We'll give him a chance. He is he is our son. Or Kayla's son, not my son. Alright. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. 
Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Ao. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Guys, I don't know. This is kind of... Well, you didn't do anything. Alright, let me restart. Alright guys, I don't know. I really don't know. Alright guys, this is as close as we can get to a family portrait. But uh, there's a lot of it to take in, and the fact that I kind of saw it was a bit more... This really is a matter of importance. I know, son. I know. In any case, let's call it quits. I think there's a lot of substance here that I can't edit up. It's a lot of talking, but um, I, I, I don't know. Institute. We'll we'll give him a chance and see if if he's really terrible. I hope you're not too overwhelmed. We'll. I am overwhelmed. Just stop asking me. But I don't know. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all much appreciated. Comment below what you think. No spoilers, though. Oh, my goodness. I Because I spoil myself most of the time. I don't know. I, uh, maybe I should be a writer or something. Maybe quiet. Shush, son. Shush. All right, he was talking to me about something, but I was like, no. Let's, no, let's take a family picture. Sit down and take a family picture. I hope you're not too overwhelmed. <sighs> Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I think I've dragged this out long enough. Catch you guys later.